Hey, hi guys. Uh, thanks for joining in. Let's discuss one more transformation today. So today uh, we'll be discussing uh, update strategy transformation, which is one more very important transformation in Informatica. Okay. Strategy. So update strategy transformation uh, is an active transformation. and connector transformation, okay? And by this time, I hope uh, you know what is active, what is passive, what is connected, what is unconnected. Uh, like I'm repeating this concept uh, like uh, each and every time because we need to know, like we need to understand which type of transformation it is, right? Which type of transformation we are dealing with. So we need, like we need to know about uh, each and every transformation which we are discussing, what type of transformation it is, whether it is connected or unconnected or whether it is active or passive. So that is the first point where well, like whenever you, you need to know that is the first point when you are dealing with any transformation, okay? So active transformation or the transformation where like the number of records which are coming into the transformation is not equal to the number of records which are going out of the transformation. Such type of uh, transformations are uh, called as active transformation. And what are connected transformation? Like what are the transformation which are part of the pipeline? Such type of transformations are referred as connected transformations. I hope that is clear. If not, please refer to my previous sessions where I have discussed uh, types of transformation in Informatica. If you still face any issues in on, in, the, in understanding the concepts, please uh, comment. I will try my level best to explain you by taking one more example. Okay, let's move on. Uh, so generally, the update, update strategy transformation is used to perform four different actions. Okay, actions in the sense, let me uh, tell you. So use it to perform four operations or actions, four actions. Okay, what are those? First one is insert. We can insert by using update strategy transformation. We can update the records or rows by using a update. Uh, we can delete the rows. Okay, and the last one is we can reject the rows as well. So these are the four actions or four operations that we can perform using update strategy transformation in Informatica. Okay. So there are like uh, what, like we need to, we need to pass constants or values in update strategy transformation in order to perform uh, any operation, all these among all these four operations. Okay. If you want to perform insert, so we need to pass zero. In, uh, we need to keep zero in the update strategy transformation or if you want to do update, then we need to go with, uh, we need to specify one in update strategy transformation. If you want to use it or delete any rows, uh, we, we need to specify two in the update strategy transformation or in the reject. If you want to reject any records, we need, we can use number three or you need to specify number three in the update strategy transformation property step. I will show you when we are discussing lab so at that time, it will be much more clear. Okay, just keep in mind that if you want to perform insert operation, you can, uh, you need to specify zero value in the update strategy transformation. If you want to specify, uh, if you want to work with update, delete, reject, uh, accordingly, we'll be specifying the, uh, these values, one, two, three, something like that. Okay. And uh, instead of using these values, people generally use the constants. We can make use of DD insert also for inserting the records or inserting the rows. We can make use of DD update also. Instead of uh, these numerical values, we can pass these constant values also inside uh, uh, update strategy transformation. I hope that is clear. If not, uh, it will be much more clear when we are discussing the lab. Okay. Let me write it down. So all these perform, all these actions we can perform by using these either numerical values uh, or we can use these constant values: DD insert, DD update, DD delete, DD reject. Okay. These are the four operations we can perform using update strategy transformations. And let's move on to the labs. Okay, let me check uh, what are the tables that I can use. So this is one more very important transformation, especially when you are dealing with the uh, SCD type one, type two, type three implementations, slowly changing dimensions, which I will be taking in, uh, taking care in coming sessions. Okay, don't worry at this point of time, but it's very important uh, transformation to understand because we will be using this transformation uh, all the time in SAD implementations. Okay, go and uh, let me go. Let's use the same tables which we are using for the last couple of sessions. It's taking time today. 
not sure why. Okay, well, yeah, well, let me open the target also. In the meantime, okay, let's. Okay, so this is the table I will be using. I guess this is the one. Uh, yeah, so this is the one. It contains eight records. Okay, now go and check. I think it's the same table I am using. Yeah. So this is the EMP TGT table. Let's truncate this table because I want it empty. Because I will be using it uh, in order to discuss uh, update strategy transformation. Okay. Now the target table is empty, but the, this is the source table, which contain eight records. Okay, let's use the these two tables and let's discuss about update strategy transformation. Go to mapping designer. So before doing any development, what is the prerequisite, prerequisite step? The, before performing those three basic uh, development steps, what is the first prerequisite step? We need to import the source and target uh, structures into Informatica, right? Let's do that first before starting the development. Okay, let me check if I already have the tables. I think I already have the tables. Let me go here. Yeah, I already had the source table. Let me check the target table. Okay, I already had the target table as well. So I can ignore the first prerequisite step. For you, if your tables are already there in Informatica, just use them. Otherwise, you need to perform that prerequisite step, which is nothing but you need to import the source and target uh, structures into Informatica. Okay, let's go, go and start the first step of development. What is the first step? We need to create a mapping. Where we'll be creating a mapping? We need to be on the mapping designer. We need to be on the mapping designer. Go to mapping step. Go, go and click create and give some meaningful name. Um, since we are discussing uh, update strategy transformation, let's use uh, the same name, okay? Let's drag and drop, we created a mapping, let's drag and drop the sources and targets that are required for our uh, uh, development, okay? These are the two source and target tables that I'm using. Now, how, how to create a update strategy transformation? Go to transformation tab, click create, Select the update strategy transformation from the list of the transformation and the naming convention for update strategy transformation is UPD and give some meaningful name. Since we are discussing DD operations, I will be naming under DD actions, but for you, give some in real time, give some meaningful names, okay? Just bring all the ports into update strategy transformation and double click the update strategy transformation and see here, nothing to do with the transformation tab, nothing to do on the top, uh, ports tab, go to the prop property step. As I said, we need to be dealing with uh, update strategy expression. Click this down arrow icon. Since I want to show you the first action, first operation, I'll be inserting the records into uh, target table from source table into the target table by using the DD insert op option, okay? Let me do that, okay? Instead of G, let me pass, remove it. Let me uh, type DD insert here and validate. Successful, click okay. So why I'm using DD insert because I want to show you the first operation, how we can perform insert using update strategy transformation. Click apply, click okay. Okay, let's go and connect the ports from update strategy transformation to target. Now our mapping is done. Let's save it. Go to repository, save it. Our mapping is valid. What is our second step? We need to create a workflow. Where we will be creating a workflow on the workflow manager. Click this W icon. It will automatically open uh, workflow manager. Uh, and uh, you need to be on the workflow designer, go to workflow tab, click create in order to create a workflow. The workflow naming notation is small wf followed with session name or mapping name. Uh, date. Strategy. Some shortcut I'm giving. Okay. Transfer. Okay. Click OK, the workflow is created. Now what, what we need to do, we need to create a session uh, and configure it. We can create, go, go to task, click create, and so create the session from here, or you can make use of this session. When you click create, when you click this icon and click on the workspace, it will automatically displace uh, all the mappings that are there available in the uh, specific folder where we are, where you are working, where we are working, okay? So select the update strategy transformation, click OK. 
when the session got created. Now we need to configure, right? We already discussed a couple of uh, properties. What is the first thing that we need to do whenever you create a session? You need to pass the go to mapping step. You need to pass the uh, proper connection details where your source table is present and where your target table is present. Let's go and give the target connection as well. Okay. And uh, select this uh, target load type to normal. I will explain why I'm selecting this option uh, when, when we are dealing with session properties. For now, let's just, uh, uh, instead of using target load type uh, as a bulk, use it as normal. Because one point I can tell you here, like whenever your table contains constraints defined on your ta target table, you will always, you need to go with normal. If there are any constraints defined on the target table when you're loading, it will throw you an error. That's why I kept it as normal, but we will discuss when we are discussing session properties in one in much more detail way, okay? Don't worry, just uh, keep that point in your mind. When we are, when you are, whenever you are loading in a target table, if the target table contains any constraints defined, then you need to use normal instead of bulk, okay? And, uh, since we are inserting, I want to show you, I, I, I don't want to use update as update. I don't want to use delete. And I want to, I only want to sh show you in, I just checked insert because I want to show you insert. But remember this point, there is one very important point. Whenever you are using update strategy transformation in your mapping, there is one option in the properties tab of the session, this uh, treat rows, treat source rows as option. Let me show you that option, okay? Treat source rows. See here, this option is very important. So whenever you use update strategy transformation in your mapping, this option, the treat source rows as will become data driven. Okay, remember that point. I will show you next, uh, like I want to show you the concept, like uh, how we can perform update strategy, like how we can perform all this insert update delete without using update strategy transformation also. Okay, what is this data driven means? Data driven is nothing but like the integration service will be taking care. Like the integration service will be deciding depending upon the property that you configured in the update strategy transformation. Okay, if you if you if you use DD insert here, in, integration service will be deciding to perform inserts. If you use update here, in, integration service will perform updates. If you use delete and rejects uh, accordingly, the integration service will be performing the action depending upon the property that you are spe specifying in the update strategy transformation. That is nothing but data driven. See here, DD is nothing but data driven. Okay, so this is one more very important point. Let me write it down here. The treat read source rows as option as and let me write it down in session properties will be automatically selected to data driven whenever you we use or create a update strategy transformation inside our map. So don't worry about all this theoretical thing. I ju I'm just writing down because it will be easy for you to explain when uh, in interview, some people will be asking this question. Okay. So what is the treat source rows will be uh, set to when you are using update strategy transformation? So you need to tell that whenever we whenever we use or create update strategy transformation in our mappings, the, the treat source rows option in the session properties will become or automatically set to data driven that means data driven is nothing but integration service will be uh, let me write it down integration service will be de deciding depending upon the property that you configured in the update strategy transformation okay integration service will be performing the action or operation based upon the property uh, 
that we specify inside update strategy transformation in mapping. Okay, I hope that is clear. So what it will do, like whenever you are using or create, created a update strategy transformation in, inside a mapping, the integration service will be deciding. Like they, it will decide based upon the property that you we will be decide, like we will be specifying in the update strategy transformation. See here, like we selected DD, like we specified DD insert here, right? So the Informatica integration service will automatically uh, this uh, treat source so, uh, treat source rows as set is set to data driven, and integration service will be uh, performing whatever the operation that we will be setting up here. That's it. That's what I have written. So integration service will be performing whatever the operation that we specify in the update strategy transformation. So by default, it is set to data driven whenever uh, we use or we create an update strategy transformation inside our mapping. Okay, that is, that is one more very, very important point. Just keep in mind, okay? If not, if you still have any questions, let me know. I will take one more example and clearly explain you, but uh, I will show you. I have, show, I have uh, right now it is data driven and I have se selected only insert because I want to show you the first operation, insert operation. Click apply, click OK. And what is what, what we need to do? We need to link the workflow with the session, right? Just link it. I'm using a link a link icon here. See, shortcut icon. See my see my arrow. I'm just selecting this uh, link icon, dragging, oh sorry. Drag the workflow to the session. That's it, save it and see if it is the workflow is valid or not. The workflow is valid, right? Now go to target before running the job. I want to show you there is no data. See, now right click, start workflow. That's it, nothing to do here. So we used a DD insert inside update strategy transformation and it it must perform, it must insert all the so records from source into the target table. That's it, see here. it. It read eight records from the source. It loaded eight records into the target table. Let's go and check uh, whether the target table contains all the eight records or not. See, all the eight records are, are inserted. I hope that is clear. Let's now, I will show you the second option. What is the second option that we discuss? Update, DD update operation. Or this time what I will do, I will not use DD update. I will, I will instead of using a constant value, I will use a numerical value, one. One represents DD update, right? Let's do that. Before uh, before that, let's update one record here. Mm, which uh, record we'll be updating? Let's update uh, EMP SRC set EMP cell uh, to uh, maybe 200K. For which record? Simon Sinek record. Okay, where? What is the number? Simon Sinek. Mm. Okay, fifth record. Okay, let's do that. EMP ID equal to five. One row got updated. Let me commit. So now there is one update, right? So what it will do, like, see, Simon Sinek uh, salary got updated to 200K. Previously, how much? 17,000, 17, right? 17k so <clears throat> now let's go and run like before that i need to like uh, go to update strategy transformation go to the mapping double click the update strategy transformation go to property step this time i'll be using uh, numerical value what is the numerical value for dd update it's one that's what we i have shown right this one so let's keep a numerical value and uh, you apply click ok save the mapping the mapping is valid now go go and refresh the session. Refresh mapping. Hello icon appears. When you save it, the hello icon disappears. That's it. Now here, see here. Double click the session. There are two things that we need to do. Since we are going with the update, we need to go to the mapping step. Go to targets. This time it's an update, right? Uncheck this inset. Just go and select update as update. That's it. Click apply. Click OK. Save it. Since we are performing update, DD update. I selected the target uh, option as update as update. So each and every record will go go for update only this time. Whether it, I just saved it. Whether it is insert or whether it is update, like all the records will go for update only here. Start workflow. 
observe what happens now eight records right eight records loaded go to the target table and see the simon sinek should be 200k this time it should update see it got updated that's how it works up dd update so in the similar way you can perform dd delete and dd reject also okay we used a numerical value this time for dd update i just i just showed you one constant i have also showed you we can use numerical value also for dd delete you just need to or use dd delete this time it's very easy go to update strategy transformation go to property step select a dd delete this time okay validate click okay click okay apply click okay we made a change save it whenever you made a change you need to re refresh the session also right refresh mapping uh, right click on the session refresh mapping go to session go to mapping step here this time we are dealing with delete right you just need to uncheck the update as update and delete option just check the delete option click apply and now save it and observe control s oh i already did okay right. i already saved that's why it popping up that it is there are no new changes right click on the right click on the workspace start workflow that's it okay so it got succeeded now go and check uh, the target table there is no records all got deleted right so that's how it works in the similar way we can reject also by using dd reject you use three or you, you can use directly dd underscore reject so all these uh, actions the insert update delete reject action we can perform using in update strategy transformation either by using a numerical values or by using a constant values okay and what is the main important point whenever you used the update strategy transformation inside your mapping whenever you created or used update strategy transformation in your mapping then the treat in the session properties there is one option called treat source rows as that will be set to data driven what is data driven uh, like data driven is nothing but integration uh, integra the informatic integration service will be taking care whatever the property that we will be setting up in the update strategy tra transformation okay this see here this dd in the this constant values are uh, dd insert dd update dd delete dd reject right so d this dd means data driven i hope that is clear okay these are the very very important point points when it comes to update strategy transformation and now one more very important point when it comes to interview questions so the people will ask you in interviews whether they like whether we can perform insert update delete without using update without using update strategy transformation the answer is yes So uh, without using update strategy, uh, people will ask you in such a way that without using, let me write it down. Without using update strategy transformation, can we, in can we perform insert update and delete operations? Okay, so the answer will be yes. So how we can perform? Let's see that. So we'll be using the same tables. Let's do that. Uh, we'll be using the same uh, tables here. And the target table doesn't have any records. The source table is having the same uh, eight records. Let's use the same table. Let's create one more new mapping. Okay, since we will be, since we are using same source and target table, there is no need of a prerequisite step. What is a prerequisite step? import the source and target definitions into informatica right which i am ignoring right now because we already have those emp src emp tg tables in, in in informatica let's create a mapping the first step go to mapping step click create m underscore the mapping mapping names always starts with small m in the real time uh, followed by some useful names okay in real time it will be uh, depending upon your project uh, naming uh, standards but right now i'll be giving a, it as a without some meaningful names i'm giving just ignore uh, like uh, for you you can give anything without update strategy transformation something like that okay it's a little lengthy 
what I can do. Let me write this thing. Well, we created a mapping. Let's drag and drop the source and target. So this time I will not be using update strategy transformation. That's our requirement, right? Without update strategy transformation, they asked us whether we can implement uh, uh, insert update delete operations. Just connect. Okay, that's it. Let's save it. Mapping is valid. Okay, let's. What is the second step? We need to create a workflow. Where we will be creating a workflow? The W icon. Workflow manager will be creating workflows. You need to be on the workflow manager. You need to be on the workflow designer. Go to workflow step. Click create. Uh, give some meaningful name. The the workflows uh, naming convention starts with a small W F followed by a session name or mapping name. Without UPD transformation, something like that. Without okay, so give some meaningful names. Uh, we created a workflow. Now create a session. You can create. Go and uh, go to task. Click create and select the session from here. Create a session from there, or you can go and select this session icon uh, shortcut. Click on the workspace. It will display all the mapping that are available in that specific folder where you are working. Select the mapping that you want to link to this uh, session that you want to create. Click OK and the session got created, right? Now double click and configure the session. That's it. Go to mapping step, provide the whatever wherever source table is present. It is on our so Oracle SRC DB user and provide the EMPTGT uh, uh, for target also. Provide the target connection. It, it's present in Oracle TGT DB user, right? Click OK. That's it. And target load type will be normal because our uh, target table contains a constraint, right? So for now, just keep in mind that. Let me show you that one. There is a command called describe in Oracle, which will give, displace all the columns available in a table. Okay, see here, AMPID, it's a showing a not null, but I will show you where you open this one. Go to constraints tab here. See here, there is a primary key constraint defined on the M table, see, right? The primary key is like on employee ID. That's why uh, like whenever you have a uh, constraint defined on the target table, you need to go with the target load type uh, should be uh, set to normal. Uh, I will discuss more in, in more, much more detail when we are dealing with session properties. For now, uh, just keep that one point in your mind. Okay, that's why I'm selecting normal here. And like I want to show you first before since we are doing the first, I will show you insert and then I will show you update and then I will show you delete. Okay, now we will be taking care of the first one insert, right? Just select the insert icon only, uncheck the update as update and uncheck the delete also. We are Since we are performing only insert, we'll be selecting insert only. But observe like what we discussed previously here, let me go bring you to this point. See the treats rows, source rows, as option in session properties will be automatically selected to data driven whenever we use or create an update strategy transformation in inside our mapping, right? So, but but now are we using update strategy transformation? No, right? Then go and observe that option on the property step, what it is. See, the trees treat source rows as insert. That means that by default, when you are not having update strategy transformation in your mapping, this property, treat source rows property will be set to insert. That is one more important interview question, okay? They will ask you like, uh, uh, like if, you are, uh, if you are not using update strategy transformation and you are trying to insert update delete, what is the option which, uh, like what is the option which will become and what is the option value oh, for treat source rows as? option in session properties, something like that, okay? Or otherwise, uh, they will ask you like what property you will be setting up in order to perform insert, update, delete without using update strategy transformation. You will be telling that you will be using treat source source uh, as option in session properties and you will be selecting accordingly. If you want to perform insert, you will be selecting insert. Uh, if you want to perform update, you will be selecting update. If you want to perform as a delete, you will be selecting delete. If you want to uh, like uh, by default, it is set to insert. Okay, data driven, will, which will be selected when you, when you use update strategy transformation in, in the mapping, okay? By default, it is insert. I mean, since we are, since I want to show you the insert, first insert, um, I just um, 
select the check this insert option in the, for the target and then this uh, treat source rows as a, is set to insert click apply click ok and link the workflow to the session save it now my workflow is valid right click start workflow got succeeded and go and uh, check uh, it was red, it was loaded into the target table, right? Let's go and query the target table. It should be eight records. See, all the eight records got inserted. Now, go and like we like we have seen without using update strategy transformation, we have seen how to insert the records, right? Now go and do update. Let's before that, let's update one record here. Let's update uh, which record? Okay, sixth record, take Mark Zuckerberg. book. Okay, let's do update for that record and make his salary to 80,000 or something like that. Okay, anything. Update. Check one row got updated. Click OK. See here. I have updated. Maj Zuckerberg record to 80,000. But what is the actual salary? It is 50, 150k, uh, 150 right? So in the similar way, let's... Uh, 15,000, sorry. Let's, um, the old value is 15,000 and uh, the new salary is updated to 80,000, okay? Let's go and run the second option. What is the second option? We will be using update as update option in order to perform updates. Go here, go to mapping step, go to targets. This time we are up, we are seeing update update operation, right? Let's uncheck the insert and select the update as update. And here, go to properties tab, select treat source rows as is set to needs to be set to update because we are we are performing update, right? That's why this value should be set to update. Click apply, click OK, Control S. Okay, before work, uh, running the workflow, let me show you the target table by querying the target table. What is the value that is already there um, in the target table? Okay, what is the value for Mark Zuckerberg employee ID 6? 15000, right? It is nothing but uh, 15,000. So, now from the source, now we updated the Mark uh, salary to 80,000. So, it we are performing this uh, update operation this time using a treat rows, source rows as update. And we are also using the session properties tab, uh, session property in the mapping tab uh, uh, for the target as update as update. Okay. I hope that is clear. I'm talking about these two operations. See, on the properties tab, the treat source rows is set to update. And the on the mapping tab, the treat uh, the, for the target, the operation that we selected is update as update. Okay. What does it means? Update as update means it will always it will always flag the the records which are coming in coming in from the source as update only. If it if it, if it exists in the table, okay. Let's click OK and perform and see the output. Save it. I already saved it. Seems right click start workflow. So since see all the rows went for update since we are using update as update let's go and check the target table whether it got updated the mark salary is updated or not 80,000 see it got updated right all rows will be so it means that whenever you go and select update as update option it will treat all the sources and it, it will go for updates only all the eight rows like what are the rows which are existing in the target table okay I hope that is clear. If not, let's uh, please comment. I will try my level best by taking one more example to make you guys understand in much more better way. Okay. Let's do delete now. It's very easy. Go. There are two options that we need to select. Go to property step. We need to set this street source rows as to delete. And on the mapping step, go to targets. Instead of update as update, this time we'll be selecting delete operation. Click OK. Save it. Right click. Start workflow. Okay. So it, it's showing that uh, it records red. It records uh, uh, got affected. But uh, let's go applied rows. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go and check if the target table does uh, contains any records or not. 
I'm just querying it again. See, there will be no no records because we used delete, delete operation. That's how it works. Okay. And one more very important point that we need to see is like go to mapping stuff, employee target table, uh, EMP TGT. So this time I will I want to show you this option. Update else insert. What does that mean? If the record exists, please update. Otherwise, go for insert. Okay. For this operation, we will need to select insert also because we are saying that update else insert. That means if the if the record already exists, please go for update. Or if the record is all it's not present in the target, please go for insert for all the new records. I hope that is clear. Okay. Update the row if you, if it exists. Otherwise, it 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 will go for insert. But here you need to select it as update because we first it will go for uh, like a update for all the existing records. And then for the new records, it will go for insert when we select this option. Okay. You need to select insert option as well as when we are going with update else insert, you need to select the insert option also. We are telling Informatica, please, if there are any updates, uh, go, please do updates. Otherwise, go for insert if there are any new records. Okay. Click apply, click OK. And before, uh, save it, go to repository and save it. And the workflow is valid. Before that, let me pass one new record and update one old record. Okay. Let me take the same employee record and make this one as a 89, something like that for Mark, the employee salary is set to new value, which is a $88,900. And let's insert one more rec new record. Let's insert into MPSRC values. Let's insert um, number nine record and pass some Jessica and some salary like uh, 300 k maybe 300 k comma she belongs to a new department 40 now insert this record okay record got inserted let's commit excuse me see here so mark Mark salary got updated again and new record Jessica has been inserted. Let's go and check in the target table if there are any records. I don't think there are any records because we deleted previously. That's fine. What I will do. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's let's first insert because right now there are no records, right? So what it will do, it will automatically uh, go for insert because there are no records. Let's do, let's run it and see. We'll insert again. See nine records, right? Nine records low went for uh, inserts because the target table is doesn't have any records previously. That's why all the records will be inserted. Now go and update the uh, mark salary to some other value. Okay, I'm updating eighty seven thousand something like that. Okay, for mark, but this time I will load one more new record. And make her salary to 450k. And she also below works for a 40 department. Let's insert this record. Okay. Commit because we made a change, right? Okay. Let's I will show you. See, mark value, mark salary is being updated to 87654, uh 87,654 dollars. And uh, the new record 10, Anna. Anna's record came in. And which uh, she uh, she has a salary of uh, 450k and she belongs to 40 department. One new record, one record got updated. Let's run the workflow this time and see what happens. So what it will do, it will update the record which is there and it will go for insert for all the new records. Now go and check 10 records read, right? So go and check the target table. It should contain uh, Anna's record the new record and it also up, must update mark record to some $87,000 or something like that. Okay. Let's query this targetable. The job has finished. Yeah. See the mark salary is updated to $87,000, $87,654. And see, there is one more new record. Anna's record came in 450K. She belongs to 40 department. That's how it works. I hope that is clear.
so these are the very very important points when it comes to update strategy transformation okay you can tell that you can perform without we can perform all the insert update delete operation by using treat source rows uh, as option as well as some target properties options insert update delete um, let me write it down insert update delete and uh, what is the other option we've seen insert else uh, update else insert right so these are the very very important points we need to configure on the target properties set target properties as well as depending upon operation not be required for our requirement I hope that is clear. If not, uh, please comment. I will try to take one more example and explain. But this is one more very important uh, question when it comes to interviews. Okay. So, what is the option that you need to select on the props on the session properties? We need to select or set treat source rows as option to insert update delete according to our requirement and we need to also set target properties uh, target object properties okay depending upon on the operation that we required for achieving reaching our uh, tasks. Okay, these are the different properties which we have seen. And uh, I hope that is clear. But uh, if you have still have any question related to update strategy transformation, this is one more very important transformation when you are dealing with uh, SAD, SAD implementations, okay? We'll be touching this transformation again when we deal, when we deal with SED type one, type two implementations, okay. But uh, there is one option like update as insert, insert, like uh, uh, I don't know why I never use that option, but uh, it usually it will go for insert, I guess, insert each row, like uh, whether it is insert or uh, update, it will, it will always go for update only, uh, this option. I never used it, but I am not sure like uh, why, why it is there. Okay, but uh, just concentrate on the other op uh, operations. Update as insert is very important point. And update as update insert, we already seen by taking some examples, right? Um, yeah, if you still have any question, please comment. I will try my level best to explain again with uh, some more examples. Uh, but anyways, like we'll be taking care of this update strategy transformation in our SED implementations. Don't worry, even if you like uh, cannot able to understand the concepts uh, in like a uh, hundred percent okay uh, until then like uh, i hope uh, it is clear and then if not like uh, we'll be meeting it meeting in some we'll be dealing with some more uh, transformation in our coming sessions and then we'll discuss accordingly okay thanks guys thank you so much um, until then take care bye